but I am financially unprepared for this and I'm tied up in another war. Yemen and Aiden are not people I'm scared of. I'm certainly not scared of you. And didn't I banish you to that island? I would need those Iraqi cores back. But I'm not looking to take all of this, at least I don't think I am. What is this is Persia again? <coughs> Excuse me. Egy oh, I have to own Egypt? I don't want to do that. I just want a nice border and to crush the Mamluks. <coughs> Excuse me. What's the status in Asia? Hmm, border gore galore. Right, where do I even perch myself? The Afghanis are right to rise up. And they like rising up around here. Balk in particular. And I do not have forts on that. So I should probably get into position for it. As soon as I have no rebels to worry about in the vicinity, the sooner I can march on in. Although, uh, this is getting real old, Muscovy. Hassa I would like to destroy. It would finally link this land up. That is what we'll do, straight away. No ifs or buts. Alright. Ugh, there was a reason I had people standing in gore, wasn't there? Okay, I want you over here, and then... Damn right you owe us some favours. All thanks to my vassals fighting, but he doesn't need to know that. Nagai will get... Wow, okay, Muscovy went ham there. No aggressive expansion for them, because very hard, lucky nation, AI, etc. But now I have no rebels to worry about, thank goodness for that. Hassa are going down, they have been warned by the Mamluks, but I have not. So, uh, farewell. No time to wait, because they might just ally somebody. Do I give them to Iraq or to myself? I think I will give them to Iraq, because I don't want to have to worry about it. And Bukhara are not my... Oh shoot, I should have made a rival before this war. It's going to hurt. Hurt my power projection ever so slightly. Also stating... Have I cored all this yet? Of course I haven't. Converting it though, which I can feel pretty good about. So I don't have to worry about this direction really that much. I would love to trim a bit off of Baluchistan, but that's not what we're going for. <clears throat> Looking for some pretty borders here. Uh, it would also be nice if I actually thought for half a second about what I'm doing. Uh, they have an actual fort there, so I can't just... Uh... Okay, well there are things that I can do, and let's attack you from this side. Can Iraq convert them? Of course Iraq can convert them. He's got religious ideas. Won't even be a challenge for little Iraq. Oh, what a tragedy! Our useless heir is dead. He had one siege, but that's about all he had to his name. Now I'm short on money, I think it's time for another merchant's son, even though the clergy would not like that very much. I really want their support as well. I think I'm still going to take it. That's a touch better. Sidey. That said, I should always approach them as if they are free generals. Not terrible. And look, Iraq really wants that province. He's already marching in to take it. And blockading it. You know, it's a sign. Uh, uh, you, you don't have any siege though, so... I'll march in my glorious cannons to help you on that front. And all will be well. I find this a bit strange that you don't want to desiege that. It's probably just because you're returning from war. Recall you. Completely forget about the French spy network, as I often do. Check how much did the PLC take from the Mamluki in Anatolia? One, two, three, four provinces released Ayadin. Looks to be about it. 
and two provinces from them. I would say they were probably worrying about aggressive expansion, but let's be honest, this is an AI. On very hard mode, there's a reason this campaign is called Very Ardalan. Swell. Very close to getting that uh, Miltech 15, which will be a big help. There you go, Iraq. Aye, the Mamluks have got to go. Once the Ottomans take care of that, I think that's what I'll be doing. Slamming into them. Unfortunately, the Ottomans are getting a bit too big for their boots. But they're not anywhere close to 300 development, which is the main kicker. I can't have that. Country LMNO for Ottomans. They're at 232. I can't give them much more than 50 development, or else I pose a big threat to myself. Also, this is threatening. They are on my border. I know it's because there's rebels there, but it still looks like a show of power to me. Especially since they have Tech 15, and I'll... Oh, okay. Quite a few of my subjects are getting that as well. Good for fighting, bad for relative power. I'm glad Kirkassia aren't completely pathetic, though. Yabrin. I never let autonomy tick down here. I wish I had economic ideas. Still, though, I do need that tax, but I need it all, really. Mamluks really don't like us. But the Mamluks lost their cores here because they were forced to release it. And I finally have connected up my land from Persia to Arabia. Yes, I had this connection here, but it was tricky because it could easily be blocked by other people's fleets if they just uh, occupied or something. So there you go, Iraq. It's been a long time since you've had anything to deal with. I don't have any pressing rebel issues. The question is, do I slam into the Mamluks right now or not? They are, of course, my sworn enemy. Their allies do not scare me. Their numbers also... They may slightly unsettle me, but they don't scare me. Their fort layout... Hmm... Three, four... Okay, it shouldn't be hard to break the Mamluks back. They don't have Tech 15. I'm about to get it. Yeah, the Mamluks are about to die. Since it's all recent revolted around here, I'm happy to keep converting it. I also really need to state it, but I'm still working on that court. Hopefully the Mamluks don't sign a nasty alliance against me. I can't quite remember if going for reconquest of Iraqi cores will also get me a discount on um, Ottoman cores. I honestly can't remember. I guess we'll find out soon. Again, you guys are there for backup. I'm not so fond of Ardalan, my province, because that's a big weak point. Wish my subject had better Miltech, but we can go for that. 15, 13, 13. That's not quite unbalanced tech levels. Reformed infantry is actually worse at shock, but it's worth it for the extra fire, because fire is starting to take over, and fire will rip. Are, uh, rip cavalry to shreds. Mamlukian ideas do give them stronger cavalry, but other than that... Oh, right. 5% discipline. Hmm. I don't think I have any discipline bonus. Oh, well. That's why I have the Ottomans and Miltech 15. Jake, if you do a reconquest on your own cores, you don't get discounted vassals. But I don't know with two vassals. We're about to find out. It'll be scientific. Oh, how about that, uh... Oh, we still have our good general then, and we have our heir as backup, if all goes Pete Tong. I have no allies to call in. I am not remotely afraid of Yemen. If in the off chance they have a single cog to float over, then I can just crush them by clicking my fingers. And Ayadin might as well make them co-belligerent, so that, uh, you never know, I might give that province to the Ottomans. Aggressive expansion in this area does not scare me. 
Nobody wants to be part of the coalition against me, even though I've been a very naughty boy. Mm, would still rather keep Yarkand on the north side of uh, Scary. Now I don't need this guy being used up. I already have great relations up here. What can I even spend my diplomats on? Everybody's looking nice and happy around here. I will want to integrate Iraq after this war. So we'll go with that. I still want to polish off the border here because it looks ugly as sin. So I guess Spy Network with you. You're allied with Delhi though, which is like, give me a break. I could fight Baluchistan and Delhi at the same time though, so I guess I'll work my Spy Network on Baluchistan. Snuff them out of the picture because I believe my goal was the uh, culture group here. Aye, I'll be satisfied with that. Okay, time for you to die, Mamluks. You might have a large army, it might even be larger than mine, but I am not scared of you. We will retake the core of Tikrit, I think. And yes, Ayadin, Shemik, Yemen, co-belligerent. They have any other allies? They do not. They also do not. Nothing to be scared of, inviting them both in. Tirkit. Ah, what could possibly go wrong? We'll find out very shortly, I'm sure. So, mighty Yemen do have a fleet. So do I. I think the Mamluk fleet is all over here and none of us know the way around uh, Africa, probably. So we'll have it down. That's somewhere I can't immediately march to, is it? It is. Good. Very good. Decent general you have there, but this is where I properly pit my units against your own. We'll bring in backup if necessary. Oh ho, scared. That's a good sign. That tells me my units are superior. Not sure if it's walk over the river to attack them superior. But we wouldn't face a penalty for the river. He has no cannons as well. Err. Uh, hmm. That's a different story. Whatever, just fight them anyway. Should have brought some more cannon. That's what happens when you rely so much on. Uh, Wait, where's this port? It's right here. I'll just keep him blockaded and out of the picture. That's what happens when you rely too much on cavalry, my uh, sand dollared friend. Still, I want my sieges to go well. Crack him. It's my kind of province. Jake Hajez will be yours too once you have the Mamluks made nice and soft. Yeah, they certainly won't be protecting them anytime soon. It's a question of how much land I want to take, though. I guess none of this will be for myself, so it's okay. Have I cored you yet? Come on, I need to get somewhere with this. Once I have the Mamluks in the back foot, I'll just declare war on uh, Hejaz, and then I'll deal with that. So, about those cores... Four point two, eh? Nine point two. I think it's safe to say that I don't know. No, I don't think I'm getting a discount on these. They're not cost. No, they are costing me. Okay, so Ottoman cores are not part of the war goal. It's purely Iraqi cores, but that's fine. I'm not overly keen on stuffing the Ottomans' face right now, although I may take a few. Because I can't allow him to get above 300 development. If he does, then it's game, set, and match for me. He will get another 25 Liberty Desire, and I will be draining my prestige just to keep him happy. As it stands, he's already uncomfortably close to unhappy, and there's not much I can do to improve that. <laughs> I mean, I could always enforce religion. That'll, uh, that'll make him happy. If happy is synonymous with wanting to rip my face off, now I feel that you're going to try and get up there. I can dig it. I'm only too happy for you to be stuck in Hormoz. 
Oh, I came too early. Oh, well, not to worry. We'll just press on. Wanting to use awesome hot keys that I might not be able to talk about, but they're not there. I wonder, would he want to try and cross? Actually, if I let him take both of these, that's problematic. Sorry, he might take a province or two, we'll hope to do. This, not so hot though, you'll probably try to attack Iraq. Not having any of that. You take one step north and I'm going to slaughter you. not the intended path, but... Ah, of course, this is a uh, fort, so... It's also a fort on dry land. You may still attack there. This is risky. Even though I'm superior, this is pretty risky. But I like that, so we'll do it anyway. Wait, what? Okay. The Commonwealth have decided to attack. Muscovy, thankfully, are leaping to our aid, as are Ming. But this is bad. This is pretty bad. I mean, I'm not very good with words, so I don't quite have the vocabulary to sum, out, sum up how bad that is. I don't know if they'll take in any allies. Britain would be the scariest one to join in, because he can just snipe me by boat wherever he wants. Novgorod may or may not get involved. We'll see. Oh well, it's all on now. Do I work on mask to mask or not? I think I should. Okay, so what do we have that works for us? Forts that block them from getting to the Mamluks, so I should seek a fairly swift piece of the Mamluks. All I really want is to get all of the Iraqi cores back, and they are nice and cheap thanks to our war goal. That is the main goal of this. Securing that, not so easy, because... Uh, okay, ongoing battles. Did I see making gains? I see Ardalan is making gains, damn right about that. Still, though, I am going to have to lay the smack down in a bit more. It's almost a shame I didn't go Holy War, but that was not really an option. Alright, well, this should still generate a good chunk of war score. Grand Captain is deed, but uh, now is the time for Fort Defense, I rather think. Let's get the younger one. Hmm. Okay, just the Commonwealth. Muscovy's a bit beaten up, but he is on par technologically, so that should help out. Thank goodness we didn't lose our front line, so the, ca the artillery did not meet an unpleasant fate. I want this to fall very soon. Get us the uh, siege progress we need on that. Oh, that's unfortunate. Close, but no cigar. Hopefully the next siege tick is the one that uh, kills it. Don't want to lose all these folks on Damask. He might uh, spin around quite quickly on it. Mm, Commonwealth have a lot of troops. Muscovy also have quite a lot of troops, but not nearly as many. Also Bosnia, Austria, Novgorod. All of them helping out. Where's our help? Well, we have Ming, who is nowhere near. But they have conditional access to a lot of people. Sadly, none of them are Asian. Well, I don't think Ming are going to be marching over, is what I'm saying. Look at how not here they are. So don't be fooled about the numbers. Okay, thank goodness that's down. It won't take too much more pushing to get what I need out of you, but it will take some pushing. So I'm going to... Uh... Oh, shoot. Not normally a problem, but this is a Novgorod that has been allowed to fester and grow. 
not phrases I'd like to use to describe the honourable nation of Novgorod, but problematic nonetheless. Okay, I need this down. <clears throat> At least my regulars are safe there. And also this should drive down my subject's desire for liberty. Should, since they're going to be getting caned here. Oh, also, I have them set to aggressive, which is only going to get them killed. But that's okay. Oh god, everybody's lending out to the Commonwealth. Dear Lord, the Ming troops are not involved, so they both outnumber us. And at a glance, out-tech us. Jeez. Alright, it'll be scary. But this is what I play for. I don't play for disease outbreaks. And I don't want to settle here. Oh, he really doesn't want to give me anything. Length of war, relative strength. I'm going to have to push quite a bit harder for him to give up. I don't think this is really having much effect on anything. Actually, do you not just want out of the war, considering I have you completely blockaded? Ha! Ha! No. Alright. Just gotta push the Mamluks. I don't have the money backed up for murking here. So perhaps what I should do is set my vassals to be supportive. Split you in half, have you both set to attach. Stick one here, stick one here. The supply limit is not great, but it's acceptable. And these ones are better. He wants to fight me? Okay. It's just dry land, so no great bonus for me, but this is still a battle that's in my bag. In the bag, he says. He did reinforce pretty heavily, but... Okay, thank God, the Swedes are on our side. All 9,000 of them. Right, that's another uh, big loss for the Mamluks, which should send them... to the peace table. Well, I guess not. Hung... Tick, 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 tick. What was that? Hungary joined Commonwealth in a war against Bohemia. Explain. I mean, that's not going to tip all the balances, but Bohemia is allied with France. Okay, Bohemia is the attacker here, so France's involvement is unlikely. Still, though, that's a lucky break. Peace out now, Jake. Incoming Mamluks. Little late, and I don't care. Okay, sadly, that's still not enough. What can a man do? I mean, I could threaten his capital, which should scare him. But I'm very close to getting the piece that I want. I might just be able to spread out a bit. Also, my numbers here are dangerously low. Hmm. Hmm. Dangerously low. If he comes back for another smack, then I'm going to have some real problems. Well, I only just beat him back, so he probably won't, uh... Probably won't be back in a hurry. Plus, if I'm in these mountains, then that's all the less reason that he's going to come and get me. A few more occupations of high development provinces. Well, sometimes you've just got to have a bit of faith that everything comes together. <clears throat> These guys are doing the best they can to get on my nerves. I should have pre-positioned my fleet. But I got too cocky. Too cocky to live. <coughs> I 
imagine if there was not a uh, an are you sure moment for unconditional surrender and you could accidentally click it to just surrender everything. Wouldn't that be not funny? Hmm. Jake, why don't you ask Bukhara for military access so Ming could consider marching through Russia? And sadly, he's nowhere near wanting any of that. And again... Nah, not happening. Sad. The Mamluks still have quite the number here, which is uh, frustrating. But if this gets occupied, or I piece you out, what would be faster? Truth be told, I want that province. Finally, it's getting stated. Good provinces. Worth money. Worth having. Worth not having that when paying for it. 232 goes down to 220. Was it worth spending 50 dip power to save 12 admin? Depending on who you talk to, it was a bargain. Not really sure I want to charge face first into you. There's a chance that quite a few of my mercs might die completely. Which is not the solution I'm looking for. But wow, you guys are really not keen on giving me the peace I deserve. The Mamluk province itself... Uh, sorry, the Mamluk capital itself might not be so... Oh? Well, damn, that was not part of the uh, plan. Still not part of the plan. He's going to reinforce that and cause me a lot of problems. Or he will siege, or he will not know what he's doing. I mean, I have this battle, barely, but I have it. I need to prevent him from reinforcing. If he makes a move to it, uh, shoot, he will. I don't know what he's thinking, but this is not a battle that's very solidly in my grasp. Is he really gunning for it? I can't tell. Cannons are reaching front line, though. Don't like that. Alright, that battle to the north is going to do me no favours. And I've lost this one in the south. Also a shame. It's all a shame. And the ongoing battles is also going to hurt me. These guys are in grave danger. They're pretty much stuck here. No sense of losing more than I already am. Right, it's unfortunate, but I'm going to have to peace out or else these guys are toast. These guys are toast. Because I can't escape from here. That was a very poor battle by me. Which means I cannot get as much as I want out of this. Also, those uh, units of mine are about to disband. Relative strength of alliance is minus 30. See, losing all those units really hurt. Okay, well, here's a question. Are you about to fall? No, no, you're not. Also, this is a real pain. Alright, so that battle went extremely badly for me. It's going to be very costly because I have to re, uh, re recruit all those mercs. Hmm. Still, you would leave this war. You wouldn't give me anything because I don't have war score. Boosts us up to 50 at least. Still not enough, but it lowers some things. I can't get you out. I'm not so sure I want to pay you out. And yeah, you... Nah, forget that. It's incredible how nothing you're willing to give up. You're actually not keen on anything but white peace. I am insulted, but I am not about to lose this... Well, actually, this stack is already dead. Might be able to uh, cleverly make my escape. 